what's up youtube pictures by a schoolboy here and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial in today's video we are going to learn how to correct skin color so today's video is about skin color correction so i'm going to go ahead and give you some tips and tricks on how to correct the skin color for your images how to get the amazing skin tones and the skin color for your images i know this is a problem a lot of retouchers and most photographers face during retouching so today i'm going to give you some simple tips and tricks on how to you know solve that problem so before we get started if you are interested in photography related content just as this please consider subscribing and becoming part of this family all right so the first thing that we are going to do obviously is frequency separation i say this a whole lot frequency separation helps blend the, the the highlights and the shadowy parts of the image so if you take this image as an example you can see this part of the image looks fair and this part of the image look dark as you can see there are a lot of dark skin tones in these images if you take a look around the lips around her lips like this you can see that this part of her lips is very dark and this part of her cheeks is very bright so the first thing that we are going to do is to you know perform frequency separation or you know dodge and burn in this case i use frequency separation you can use both frequency separation and dodge and burn or you can use dodge and burn anyone which works best for you so i've saved a lot of time by doing the frequency separation so if i turn on the frequency separation layer let me name this fs for frequency separation so if i turn on the frequency separation layer you can see that it blends the highlights and the shadows you can see the transition between you can see the transition between the highlights and the shadows it's make the transition very professional and very soft so if i turn it off right now you, and you take a look at the skin you can see this part of her lip is very black or very dark and this part of this part of her cheeks is very high but if i turn on the frequency separation layer you can see it blends in the highlighted or the the highlighted parts of the area into the shadowy parts of the area it creates a nice transition between those two colors and that is the first thing you have to do is to perform your frequency separation action and make sure you do it well so after you are done with your frequency separation action the next thing that we are going to do is to use the technique that i use to color grade in my previous video so we are going to use the gradient map so we are going to use the gradient map to fix the skin color as you can see it's not all that perfect even after the frequency separation so we are going to use the gradient map to fix that right now so the first thing that we are going to do is to select this and then select gradient map now as you can see there are three we are going to create three colors for this image the highlight the shadows and the mid tones and that is what we are going to use to correct the skin tones as you can see there are some highlighted parts of the image look at the forehead for her forehead for instance and um, this part of the image you can see there are highlights here and if you take a look at her neck and around her lips you can see there are some shadows there as well and if you take a look at her cheeks this part of her cheeks you can see there are some mid tones as well so we are going to you know work on each and individual color to help complement the skin tones and make them even as possible so we are going to pick the colors from the mid tones the highlights and the shadows and create a filter with it so that if we add or apply the filter since the filter consists of the highlight the shadows and the mid tones is going to complement each and every color on the skin so the highlights will get its colors respectively the shadows will get its colors respectively and the midtones will also get its colors respectively since the filter was created with those three colors in mind 
so we are going to turn on back our gradient map layer and make sure we select the layer thumbnail so we select this layer thumbnail and we double click on it now the next thing that we are going to do is to turn off the layer so we are going to turn off the layer and then we are going to get into picking our colors so we go ahead and click on this gradient editor right here and then this pops up so as you can see right now we have the black and white gradient selected so it's basically the shadows and the highlight so we are going to select the colors for the shadows and we are going to select the colors for the highlight and when we are done we are going to create the mid-tones the colors for the mid-tones and we select the color for the mid-tones as well so let's go ahead and select the color for the shadow so we are going to click on this first and then we continue by clicking on color and then we we'll go ahead and take a sample color from the image so with this we are taking the color for the shadowy part or the shadows so we are going to go to the part which contains shadows in the image so we can either pick the shadow from her eyebrows area or we can come to her lip area or even her neck area because those are the places that contains the shadow so we can select right about here or we can go ahead and select this part of the image as you can see the colors look a little bit similar so depending on your image you know where to select the shadows or you can come to uh, her neck like this and select the shadow by since there are more shadows on her face than her neck a little just a little bit of her neck is being displayed we are not going to pick the color from there we are going to pick it from the face so i'm going to select the shadows right from here and then select okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to select the highlight so i'll go ahead and click on this and then select the highlighted area of the image so as you can see the forehead has some highlights and her nose has some highlight too. so we can select the highlight from here or from here as you can see the colors look a little bit similar so depending on which one you like best then you select or we can even come to her lips and select the highlight on her lips just like this so i'm going to use the highlight on her lips or let's see yeah i think i'm going to use the one on her lips all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to create the mid-tones we have our shadow selected our highlight selected the next thing that we are going to do is to create the mid-tone so we are going to click in between here and make sure the location if it is 50 percent 50 percent lies in between the shadows and the highlight so we'll click on it and then we are going to select the color for the mid-tones as well so with the mid-tones we have a lot of colors to pick from as you can see there are a lot of mid-tones right here here and here so we are going to pick right about here or even here as you can see so i think right about here is fine so now we have all our colors selected so you can see the transition from the shadows to the mid-tones to the highlight and then we click ok so the next thing that we are going to do is to turn on our layer and as you can see this is the filter we just created with the shadows highlight and mid-tone so the next thing is to change the blend mode from normal to soft light so now you can see how nice and how even the skin tone looks so here is a quick before and after before and after so now you can see how well and how even the skin tone looks if you think it's a little too much or a little saturated you can dial down the opacity just a little bit but in this scenario i think it's perfect for what we are doing all right so the next thing that we can basically end it here but i just want to take a little step further and add just a little bit of depth to complement the colors on the skin so the next thing that we are going to do is to select is to create a black and white adjustment layer so we are going to create a black and white adjustment layer just as this and change the blend mode from normal 
to luminosity. So right now it's on luminosity and since the skin tones contains reds and yellows we are going to play with only the reds and the yellows. So if I pull down my reds like this you can see it adds more depth to the reds in the skin tone. So I think I'm going to bring down the reds just like this and then I'm going to open up the yellows just like this. If I bring down the yellows too you can see it add more depth but that's not what we are looking for so i'm going to open up the yellows just about here and i think that looks amazing so here is a quick before and after of what we just did a quick before and after you can always go back and you know play with it and see how well it works with your image so i think right about here is fine so here's a quick before and after it's not too much but it opens up the shadows just a little bit so here is an overall before and after of what we've just done just pay attention to the skin tones and you are going to see what we've just done so here is a before and here is the after Alright, so that will be the end of today's video. If you did like this video, please leave a comment down below and drop a like on the video. I was supposed to upload this video somewhere last week, but you know, I was so tired to record. But here is it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.